end zone. Got him. <laughs> College football has a way. It was the most unbelievable uh, Cordica game I've seen. Of getting people really, really excited. We botched a field goal and went for the touchdown pass to win the game. But after thousands filled Clayton Avenue, flipped over cars, and jumped off of buildings last year, Officials were determined to avoid a repeat of this scene again this year. There had to be a year where you cracked down and things that had been ignored in the past perhaps went into place. For the past few weeks, police went door to door, warning off-campus students about the consequences of unacceptable behavior. And for this entire weekend, state, county, and city law enforcement are lining the streets around downtown Cortland, increasing their presence dramatically turning Clayton Avenue from chaos into a highly controlled after party. This year, a lot more police. Everyone's afraid, so no one's doing anything. This year sucks. It's just a lot scarier this year, like cops walking around. Everybody that goes here is like, it's this year's going to suck. Like We're just kind of all depressed about it. A lot of people I know went home. It's like a Nazi regime right now. But others feel this significant increase in security is helpful, getting the message firmly across that this <laughs> is not okay. I think it's important that people need to be safe in their, you know, where they live in their community. I felt like it gave Cortland a bad name. They do a great job they for the community. The they do make the world go around. It's a great job for the community. I think they should have even more police next year. Changes made to keep a reputation and football game intact. Cortland fans put an open hand up! Reporting from Cortland, I'm Alex Rosilla.